Talking Farm with Ed O. Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's Ed O. Four, and I'm back with another episode of Talking Farm with Ed O. For today's topic, today is we have our seventh interview, my good friend Rev, where the interview starts now. Hello everyone, it's Edo4, and it is a Tuesday night, and I'm here with my seventh interviewee guest here, Rib. Introduce Hi. yourself, man. Hi, my name's Rib. So, one of the, so if you guys don't remember, he was in a lot of previous videos, my Flinko, Matt Tag. I was a cameo, that's what I was. Yeah. I was a cameo. <laughs> so... Um, another big thing is that you're pretty much like a, a big star on TikTok. How did it happen? It just, you know, I, I had TikTok and like, I was like, you know, I need to do more with this than just to have, uh, you know, just to have it for fun. So I like started to make edits. It started out small, like not big edits, of course. But then as, you know, I progressed, they got more and more views, more and more likes. So I was just like, maybe I'll just do this for a while. And now I got over like... I'm close to getting 400 now, but now I got 3,000, so, like, I'm getting up there pretty soon. Pretty soon. What was, like, the most popular video that you did from TikTok that really blew up well, the uh, canvas of your canvas? Uh, well, I, at first, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a superhero fan, so I did a lot of superhero edits, and the first one that I did that kind of blew up with it, uh, was my, it was a Batman versus Spider-Man video. That did well, but then, like, I did, like, 17 of those videos, and I think by my 18th, which was uh, Hawkeye vs. Green Arrow, that one skyrocketed. I, not too big now, but it's still one of my biggest videos that I put out. It's got, like, over a 1,000 likes, and it's, uh, that's where it kind of, like, blew up, where I got pretty far. Now, a fun fact that I've learned about you, my friend, is that you were born, like, a few days of becoming a superhero fan, like, a few days... When the 20th anniversary of Spider-Man was made, was that correct? Uh, yes, I was born, uh, I, I'm not 100%, I can't remember the exact date, but I was born a couple of days later after the first 2000, 2002 Sam Raimi Spider-Man film. And now I'm almost 20, and that film's almost 20, so it's just a, it's kind of like a connection I've had with Spider-Man for a while. Right. Hey. Um, so, another thing I'd like to ask you is, um, you're, I realized that you're not really from a lot of Florida, well, neither am I. Where are you from originally, and how did you get to, to here and full stuff? Uh, I'm from Texas. I'm from a small town in Texas. It's called Grove Town. Look, look it up on the map. It's, <laughs> you'll have fun with look, it. Google it. Google it. <laughs> and, uh, well, how I came here is that uh, I had a friend, uh, not going to shout him out, but I had a friend who had told me about this place, and I was just like, that seemed like fun. I'll, I'll go to that. I'll, I'll, I'll join him as he was going to do music. I was like saying, I'll follow my film passion. Uh, he dropped out, but I stuck with it. And uh, five months later, I came to Florida and I'm here living a life that's better than I ever thought it would be. Hmm. What is uh, one of the best parts of Florida uh, that honestly, you like a lot? Honestly, it's, uh, I would say the school, but it's got to be the people I've met. Like you... Logan, Matt, Matt Attack, go subscribe to him. Uh, they've, uh, they've all helped me. Y'all have all helped me. And the, the, again, like most of the people I meet are really nice people. And I got to give, uh, give it to the people of Florida. They're all really nice. <laughs> At least some I met. Yeah, right. I'm not a Floridian, by the way. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, um... Is there, like, new projects you're opening to open up very soon? Uh, yes, there are. Uh, I uh, plan to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to, I hopefully I'll get that off the ground pretty soon, but uh, I plan to start a YouTube channel where I talk about films and all that I, because I, I love movies, so, like, I have an idea in my head, and hopefully that comes out pretty soon. So really, I could, you know, if it starts pretty soon, I could do another video with Eddie right here, and, uh, uh, it's just going to be a lot of, uh, that's my one project to do right now that I'm currently in the works in, and hopefully to expand uh, different media on my TikTok, because I am mostly do edits, I kind of want to show my face, so uh, maybe someday I'll do that too. Um, 
one thing we won't have to go into is like favorite food because we're currently mm -hmm. eating it right now for Tuesday night. And um, uh, as far as, uh, let's see, as far as uh, hobbies and stuff, um, is there a favorite superhero movie? I know like when I've been looking through your Instagram and TikTok, aka I don't have it, I, he shares it with me and I just share memes. Anyway, uh, what would be your favorite superhero movie of all time if oh. you had to? Like, oh. even if there's a lot, just is there any of them? Uh, okay, so uh, for the longest time, it was The Dark Knight because The Dark Knight, of course, is in a lot of people's opinion the best superhero film of all time. But uh, it took it a while, but it was stolen by Logan, released back mm -hmm. in 2017. Excellent film. Hugh Jackman gives a great performance. But then that was being out by the Batman. That no, that recently came out. I seen it twice. It was a great film. Batman is one of my favorite characters, but the best interpretation is probably this version. But my favorite superhero film is gotta be Spider-Man No Way Home. If you've seen the movie, you, you've seen a work of art. It is a I'm a, a Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, and I love that film. It has done tremendously. Is possibly my favorite MCU film too. So that's currently my favorite superhero film who knows it could be being out later in the sometime but for right now spider-man no way home god's here 20 out of 10 speaking of superheroes is there like a superhero that you want to make one day and like film and direct and all that stuff yes there is uh i'm i, I there's like two superheroes i'm a big like i said i'm a big fan of batman and i'm a big fan of spider-man i would love to make a batman film but if i had to choose one just one i would love to make a spider-man film because spider-man is so relatable to everyone i feel like that would be a really nice story to make and i i, I would do a different spider-man not just peter parker i would do multiple because there's many in the multiverse so um when it comes to movies most of those movies are uh, most or a lot of times they're like filmed outside of the uh the u.s uh excuse me is there a place that you would like to be outside of the U.S.? Or even if there's even a place you would like to go from other states of the U.S., where would you like to go? Ooh, I would, uh, I really don't know. Like, when I come to, like, going to places, I really like to keep it in the United States. So, like, New York. I would love to go to New York. Uh, I know that's not the ideal place to be, but, yeah. But if I had to probably go outside state, I would love to go film in the UK. It seems like a nice place to film, and like I, there's a lot of films that have been filmed there, and I would love to go there someday. Uh, a, a good fact is that uh, one of uh, my last interviewees that I interviewed, Noel Comics, he's from New York, so he probably can hook us both up, you know? Yeah. And of course, Matt has been to New York as well. Um, one of the last questions that we have and don't worry, don't worry about uh, where to find him. It will he will be on the link of the description. I, I got I got his back just like he'll have mine. Yeah. Is um, what is like the the ways you want people to to remember you by? This is one of my last questions. Uh, the ways I want people to remember me by is uh, I like I don't like mean comments. I don't like hateful things. I want to be known as the guy who accepts everything at once. Like, uh. I don't just like superhero stuff. I like monsters. I like horror. I like anime. I want to be known for the person who didn't have a favorite but loved all things, and also that didn't have like a. How can I say this? I don't. I don't have a massive ego. I just want to be known to you know, to unite fan bases. Like if you like anime, I like anime. I'll find a way to you know connect with you on that. If you like superheroes, I will definitely connect with you. King Kong, Godzilla, find a way. Lord of the Rings. I mean, I just rewatched the trilogy. It's true, he just told me. Yeah. Nine hours. Uh, uh, and then, you know, anything, I would, I just love connecting with people. Even if we don't, like, have the same things, I would find a way to connect you some way to, you know, like, anyway, yeah. If you like horror out there, just saying. I, I, I like horror too. Jason Voorhees. So, without further ado, this was my seventh guest here, Riv, and... We got to say goodbye on this Tuesday night. Goodbye. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Um, of course, a good shout out to Riv. And that will be it for now. And my next interview 
will be for Malik and also for my main channel. I'm back with the series of how Blank created Blank. And until those days come through, see you guys around. Bye! Talking from the end.